So let's look at the heat of a reaction. So, so far we have drawn the reaction profile. So this is potential energy versus the reaction coordinate. And we started out with our reactants here, so A and B. And they have to be squeezed together, right? So there's a minimum amount of energy we've got to squeeze them together with to form the transition state, or TS. And so TS stands for transition state. Sometimes we refer to this as the activated complex. Okay, and then it degrades and it falls apart and the atoms swap and you form your, your products on the other side. And so the question is what happens next? And so we've just kind of drawn before our products with exactly the same energy. But that's not always the case. So our products can have more or less energy than they, their reactant started with. And that gives us two different situations. So if our products have more energy than before, you get a reaction profile that looks something like this. And conversely, if the, if the products have less energy than before, you get a profile that looks something like this. So it depends upon the relative positioning of the products and the reactants. And what we normally do is we say in the situation here, if the products have got a higher energy, that means that in order to go from the reactants to the products, we have to put in energy in the form of heat. And we say in this case here, delta H, H um, technically represents enthalpy, but you can think of it as heat if you like. So we've got to put heat in to form our products that look something like this. However, in the other situation, if you look at our reactants and products, you can see that the products have lower energy, they have less energy than the reactants. And that means that you don't have to put in heat at all. You actually get heat coming out of this reaction here. And we actually have names for this to these two different situations. And so the top one here is what we call endothermic. Uh, we have to actually put in heat and if we have to put in heat, the question is, where does the heat come from? And if you hold this reaction in your hand, if it takes heat from you, then it's actually making you feel cold. Okay, so endothermic means that heat is literally going into the reaction. And of course, it's going into the reaction at the expense of your heat. So it feels cold in comparison. However, if you go to the other situation here at the bottom of the figure right here, the products have lower energy. So they actually put out heat. They actually give off heat here. And so uh, this is what we call exothermic. So exo means out of. So heat comes out of this reaction. And so it puts out heat. So it gives off heat and if you are holding this reaction right and it gives off heat to you then it is going to feel warm so this this kind of reaction feels warm uh, whereas the top one feels cold in comparison so it's kind of cool here so the products have higher energy than the reactants we've got to put a net amount of heat in so they feel cold so this might be the sort of reaction you might have going on in a cold pack whereas in the bottom case here your products have lower energy so they give off energy in the form of heat as they react and so they feel warm so this is the kind of thing you might see in a, say a hot pack